Fiato down with in his last fight. In December, he appeared on Show Extreme and oh, dropped oh, oh, and he just got rattled there by Danny Garcia, and down goes Rob Selka. in his career in April of 2012 is knocked down against Angel Rios and Garcia slipping as he goes on the attack. December dropped a disputed majority decision a junior welterweight to Ricardo Alvarez the older brother of Mexican superstar Canelo as he is still getting rocked here with the left hook from Garcia and Garcia now smelling blood and there's a lot of time left in this round I see I'm loading up everything and a knee is taken by Saka Garcia seeking, looking to destroy, unloading. Uh, even the referee Steve Wolves making a face like he wants to stop this. And he may be very close to doing so, but Salka showing his grit. And Hart gets rocked with that left hook. Salka down, and it's over. Statement made by Danny Garcia. So no surprises. He was the prohibitive favorite. Está dando en esta categoría de los Welter. La mayoría de sus combates está los ha hecho en super ligero, super ligero y Welter puede con las dos a las dos misiones, las puntuaciones en cada round porque la gente eh, se fija más no solo en los dos knockouts. Después de están dando la pelea. Vamos a hacer una pra pausa. Presente Dani García sigue presionando ahí. Dani García buscando las partes blandas del Coqui Romero. ¡Oh! ¡Qué mano izquierda por parte de Dani García! Tratando de mantener su invicto, Coqui Romero. Bernie no sabe ni dónde está. Ahorita dice, ¿dónde estás? En Chichen Itza, ¿no? En malas condiciones continúa el Coqui. Esa mano izquierda y tiene que intervenir Manuel Alcocer. Para que no sufra más castigo, Jorge el Coqui Romero, este boxeador de Culiacán, Sinaloa, México. Y muy bien por parte de Dani García. Dice... Pay-per-view provider, Morales Mike offering his own commentary. Yes, he is. Or below the belt, but I think they were, they were leaving the shot. Nice. Tap, tap on the court. Effective. Right there, many battles with the steel. I think Garcia loads up with the right hand. I think Garcia needs very well to get to the like an older fighter. Punch. Good combination here by Garcia. His best action of the fight. Be interested to see who the judges believe has more power. Seems like uh, the heavier hands belong to, to Garcia. We're just not seeing the company. This is Madonna Card coming soon. A little bit under both options. Second hand. Right, so we'll see how that plays in. This is in the hands of the judges now. Keep it right here. Keep it right here. All right. We come to our main event. 12 rounds for the WBA and WBC and Ring Magazine Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Danny Garcia, the holder. Eric Morales, this time the challenger. Garcia's busier here in round one by far. He's thrown three times as many punches as Morales already. Yeah, and that's kind of surprising, I think. Yeah. Morales is opening himself up more early in this fight. Well, just a great crowd here at the Barclay Center. Good right hand. Both men landing excellent rights and good body punches. So this fight heating up already. Much faster pace from Garcia than we've seen before. Danny Garcia is listening to his father, who certainly understood that that's the key to winning this fight early. And Garcia is doing it. Good right hand. Sure was that hurt. Morales, Morales is in big trouble at the bell. And big trouble as he stumbles back to his corner. In fact, he stumbles back to, to Garcia's corner. corner. Yeah. Not 
at that point yet, clearly. Four punch combination ended with a right hand to the top of the head. Danny Garcia's doing all oh my. Knocks Morales through the ropes. And the trainer got in the ring. And it's over, y'all. It, just like that. And this is a case of the king is dead. Long live the king. Rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision. Judge Levi Martinez scores it 95 to 94 in favor of Theophane. Judge Raul Valencia scores it 95 to 94 in favor of Garcia. And Judge Gerardo Benzor scores it. 96 to 94 in favor of your winner and still undefeated Danny Swift Garcia. That was a little too close for comfort for an undefeated prospect of the pedigree and thought forward of Danny Garcia. Is it? If you're looking for a reason to root for Danny Garcia, he comes from a family of asthmatics. He's the only one not bothered by asthma. To a certain degree, he fights in honor of his twin 10-year-old sisters who both battle that disease. Oh, you know, it's, it's difficult. Good, Good right hand by Garcia. Real big hand. That shot of the fight. To look it like a bigger punch probably, than the Probably enough to win the round. Oh. Right, same right hand again. Now Garcia's right youthful again. energy is starting to show beating Holt to the punch with the right hand. Suddenly, Garcia is in command, and Holt looks off stride. That's his game. That's the way he'll win the fight if he's able to win it. I think it was a good point you made, Max, that Garcia has taken post punches without showing him that he's doing a good job. Good left hook by Danny Garcia. Good body shots by Garcia. Well, you gotta like that. Bolt to the head, it goes right to the body. Absolutely, you gotta love that. Multiple body shots. And now Holt is trying to reverse this with one big shot in return. And lands a left hook to close the round. I've got Danny Garcia way ahead. 89, 81, eight rounds to one, Danny Garcia. I, I mean, Danny Garcia, Holt walks in just like that, Harvey punches, and Danny Garcia nails him. And it's been a story of the fight. I mean, basically, it's all Danny Garcia's clean effect of punching. Big right hand by Garcia. The little right hand seems to land effectively. Stepped back and admired his work for a moment, then seemed to realize, oh, there's time to gamble. There's a bit of a built-in rivalry, too. Holt from Jersey and Garcia from Philadelphia. East Coast. Now, Philadelphia winning right now. Confidence <laughs> rising from moment to moment. Garcia totally in control. He told Holt he would knock him out. He promised it. Holt ridiculed that plan. Well, according to CompuBox, this is the largest number of punches Danny Garcia has landed in a fight we have tracked for him. And that means that he landed more punches against Kendall Holt than against the considerably a lot of lesser fighter. On HBO. Never that overly spectacular in any area. I think all of his tools will be in great form tonight. Right hand looping over the top for Morales. Solid shots from Garcia. If Garcia is as much quicker as it appears he might be. Yeah, but in, in, in right now, Morales is fighting a very smart fight. He's been in the end trying to get very close before he punches. Jay, I'm surprised at his coordination. He's moving away from punches very well at this stage. Morales warming up a little bit now as round one comes down the stretch. Not a bad round for the old warrior. Oh, very good left jab to Morales, too. A.G. Wiley veteran. Well, at some point, the action's going to heat up here. And when it does, Morales starts to test young Danny Garcia. If Danny Garcia responds to that test from the old man, then we'll see what Morales has left. Three straight uppercuts with the right hand. Morales starting to get the crowd into the fight. Morales is fighting a very, very good fight. Much better than I expect he's going right now. Short take the distance, yeah. driving Morales into the ropes, hitting him with a hard right hand, and another right hand shot. Right hand over the top, catches Morales again. Big rally by Danny Garcia. Let's see if these punches are hurting Morales. Garcia changed the distance in this round by a couple of inches, got a little closer to Morales, and started landing those shots. Exactly. 
Big comeback in the third round by Danny Garcia. When the old man works his jab, it sets up a lot of good stuff for him. Yes, yeah, so and he's boxing beautiful too. Reminiscent of what he did in the Maidana fight. You saw the Garcia rally in the last round, and the old competitor comes back. I know what's going on. But you can't lose your motivation like that. You can't fucking lose it like that. Listen, the Lupus punch is a little wider. Oh, good left hook by Danny Garcia. And the jab that knocks Morales' head back. Suddenly, because of the power of those two punches, Danny Garcia has a physical edge in the fight. Morales has slowed down considerably in the round. Garcia landed two of the right hands over the top, but that seemed to have brought Morales more or less to a halt. Now Eric tries to fight back off the ropes. But that right hand to the body from Garcia really opened up Morales upstairs. Good left hook by Garcia as they trade punches. Morales trying to come alive again. Stop, stop, stop. That's what you mentioned, Jim, throughout his career. When Morales is hit, he gets two or three back in of his own. That's why a fight may break out. The hallmark of a great champion. A minute ago, he was in trouble. Now he tries to stalk Garcia. Morales, faded with the right, landed the left. Hey! Jekyll and Hyde round. Crowd liked it. And uh, Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> Look at you. I've got a 58-56, four rounds to two, Eric Morales. That's a good scorecard. Three to three would also be fine. It's a, it's a very close fight. Seriously, because maybe finally he's just in it for a paycheck. Morales has already answered. He's in it to win it. Now the question is, halfway through this fight, and a close fight, can he? Or will you start to take over here? Hard right hand by Morales, and now Garcia comes back with a shot of his own. Take this guy, don't come in. Take this guy, go to the body. He's jumping back. When he jumps back, straight right hand, catch him going back with, with his hands down. We're losing the damn fight. All the rounds. They gave him all the rounds. Only run round one dunk is giving you. All the rounds are lost. This son of a bitch, you gotta finish him. Even if you finish the fight, they can give you if you're winning. The judges are gonna give it to him. Ooh, right hand shot by Morales. Yeah, he set that up. He got kept acting like he was gonna throw a right hand at the waist. And he looked down again, and next time he threw it right over top. Ten years ago in the featherweight class, that punch would have rocked the opponent. Morales is trying to scrape out wins, fighting above his normal weight at 140. Good body shot by Eric Morales. Good rally in this round. You know, I know. Hey! We'll talk about it in the next round, Emmanuel. Hold it right there. He's yours. He's just there. He's ready for you. Here are angles. Again, right through the middle. Title belt, which went vacant at the weigh-in yesterday when Eric Morales Elected to weigh in at 142 and not to bother to try to make the 140 pound weight. Blood Morales coming from the mouth of Garcia now. Finding Morales a won't win with that right hand. Stop, stop! Step back! Step back! I was about to mention how stop. Garcia's nose has been swelling, and now Morales has basically popped it open. And, and, and Garcia keeps his head in one spot, but he's punching with some mixing. Oh! Stop. Down goes Eric Morales! Stunned! Oh. Five, six, seven. Our shot. Eight, nine. He was down five times against Manny Pacquiao. Close. He's no stranger to the canvas. That was a sudden shot by Garcia. Less than a minute to go in the 11th round. Now it's Garcia who's tracking a knockout after having knocked no Morales problem. down. Knowing what we know about the official scorecards, it's more imperative than ever now for Morales to seek the knockout his father's talking about. We're seeing some real grit from both guys. Morales gunning for the knockout to make something big happen. Garcia hurt. Bloodied nose, swollen face. He came up with the drama. And I want to see a replay of the knockdown because I'll be honest, Morales' back obscured the punch for me and I'm not sure how Garcia got it. It's mainly because his legs is gone. So. 
25 years old. May not have trained as well as he should for the fight. Danny Garcia has just won a world title in all likelihood and has his beginning as a possible American star. Zab step. Not a true chance here. Remember the lefty righty match. If there's that right hand lead for Danny Garcia's body by Garcia, and it could sneak the right hand with a straight right hand. He just found him that fight. And another good right hand by Garcia. Defense. He's still in the There's the sharp right hand. I see it's very concerned. Big right hand. Big right hand again. Left hook. There's the deep water. Congratulations for these guys. I, I, I'm glad they're hugging like that. Bell, we are underway. The unified 140-pound championship up for grabs. 25-year-old champion Danny Garcia in the tan brown and black. While the challenger Lucas Matisse sports the blue with gold, black, and silver. The left hasn't been getting there yet against Matisse. Oh, my. Big hook by Matisse. Garcia's done some sharp counter punches, but Matisse's been the attacker. And Matisse going on the attack. Garcia getting away from the four pound range. He doesn't even eat before the weigh in. He's landing it, but not with as much power. There are several of them. Jab, an uppercut by the challenger. There's a nice commentating round. It's a fairly close one. Oh, there's again the left hook to the body and a right hand to the head by Garcia. Another two punch combination to the body by Garcia. The champion looking really good here. In from Matisse is like he normally throws. The champion. Jab by Matisse. And hand caught by the left. There's a left hook to the head by Garcia. The last round. Matisse 35 and Garcia 28 according to the show stats. That was Matisse. Oh, the So he's making a mini comeback here. Maybe it's not so mini. Yeah. They're both 
he, he just missed that right hand and got that one in. Right hand of the body, three punch combination. Left in the round, one of the best of the fight. Fast and furious combination by the champion. Right hand, left is Batiste. What will the final three minutes be like? Range, I think it, he just keeps his hands up. You're not going to counter. You got to step wow. out of range. Yeah. There Another go. four punch combination coming in. Then the consummate pro in this fight, utilizing his combinations. But Batiste now looking for that shot, but it's the combination. Solid basic fighter. Don with a hard right hand behind the jab. Danny Garcia countered well with the right hand himself. Lead left hook by Khan. Yeah, this saves Garcia. Khan is extremely sharp. I am very impressed with the precision punching power. Well, that was one of Freddie Roach's big well. things coming off the Peters to stop bouncing on his feet, stop giving the opponent the opportunity to knock him off balance. Stay flat footed, stay still. Now Khan throwing the kind of jab Roach wants him to throw. Garcia doesn't have really a straight right hand. Here's a cut over the right eye of Danny Garcia. Garcia's landing some shots, guys. He's going to have to. There may be some urgency now because that cut over the right eye looks like it may be a significant one. But when you see a guy do that already in the second round after taking a beating, it can be a signal. Sorry, man. Garcia's have chin problems early in their careers. And then when they develop confidence and get more comfortable in their style, take punches better as time goes on. And don't kill themselves to make weight as confident one third.